again. Just get done talking to Gary Davis, a man in charge of SmackDown Challenge and SmackDown Your Vote, and the they wrestling get, guys. They need to give Perry like some Dramamine or something. Yeah, Perry's really like, you know, he sounds like he's on Dramamine. Uh, this is Perry Saturn. No, I can't even do it. I, can't I know he's very slow. serious. I know he's a very serious man. Yes, he is. When he cut that, he was at the Pillman, and he was like one unhappy camper for two straight days. Yes, absolutely. It was. So it, it does happen. But, uh, hey, that you know, you got to love that. All our listeners, get out there. Talk to your kids about voting. It's time to get involved. Go to the websites. Go to the WWF's website. Uh, go to www.vote.com, register. Let's show these people that we're involved. We want to stay involved. And our WWF coming into town, what is it, November 12th, the Nutter Center? Yes, I November believe. 12th, that's right. Our wrestling guys are going to be doing a live remote from there, from the Nutter Center. So come on out then, but uh, let's all do our share and get involved. But right now, the phone lines have been lit up again. Let's go to line one from West Milton. Ice, you've got the wrestling guys. Hi, how are you guys doing? Good, how are you doing, Ice? I'm okay. I just got a couple questions for you. What, I, you guys were talking about Austin getting hit earlier. Well, that wasn't him. I think the WWF cameras did a great job. Oh, absolutely. I, I you know, it's, uh, most people thought it was Austin actually getting hit. So I, I think it was a great job. I honestly do. So I, I thought that was him. I didn't have no clue that they did that. But I was thinking, you know, you guys said HBK. Shawn Michaels coming back and saying that he hit him. Yeah. And how you guys were saying that they could go for, for a long time without wrestling and getting people into that match for that pay-per-view. Right. I was asking about Raven. I heard he's supposed to be coming back. I was wondering, you guys, since you guys said that he isn't the one that hit him, because that's been a big No, way. No, no, we didn't say that, did yeah, we? Yeah, you didn't say no. No, no, we didn't say that he, that he didn't hit him. You said you don't think it was. No, I don't think it is. But I was going to say, wouldn't that, give, yeah, wouldn't that give him a great promo, though? Because he, he's, he's mostly been a hill. For in WCW, heel for WCW. I didn't see him in ECW. Th this is what I think, though, and the, one of the reasons I don't think that it's Raven is the fact is I don't think they would bring a guy, even you know, a, a guy that everyone knows like Raven, put him into a storyline that quickly, that fast, and that um, extreme. Um, and I think that would probably that might tick off a lot of the boys in the back. That they, that they weren't being promoted up into yeah, that story. Raven line. just doesn't have the juice at this point. He, I mean, not that he hasn't been a good performer, not that he isn't a talented professional, but he doesn't have the juice of an HBK or even a Billy Gunn out Absolutely. on a limb show. I don't think you give it to the show. I think that's a reward. And Chunky Bud, sure. too, I don't think he deserves it. <laughs> yeah, I would have to. I don't know about that. I, I think that, H, like Billy Gunn, you guys were saying earlier, that all they do is get for Austin to get in, show, in shape. I think the HBK match would be a lot better. I agree with you. I agree with you 100%. And then I got a question. Um, what about Bret Hart? I mean, I, I didn't see this week's WCW, but I seen the week before that and the, when he came back and hit Goldberg with that steel cage door. What about that? I, I don't know. I think Bret Hart's gone a little bit loopy. I think he's lost sight of the business. I mean, and I hate to say that too. I mean, I think Bret Hart, um, technically one of the best – Ever, you know, the best there is, the best there's there was no doubt about that. He was what that little caption was true. You know, he, he did he did the thunder. He he did thunder where he came on, did the interview, then immediately that next weekend went onto his website. Actually, well, actually in the Calgary Sun, went on there lambasting what he did. Said that he was forced to do it. I don't see Bret Hart being forced to do anything. Bret Hart did that interview because he was getting paid. To do that interview, and I'm sorry, but I don't think Bret Hart was actually coerced into doing anything. If Bret Hart really didn't want to do the interview, then Bret Hart could have said, "Hey, you know what? I don't want to do it. I'm not going to do it, and I'm just going to go home and collect half my pay." Ice, here's a guy that, at one point, you know, really felt that he was misused. Left the WWF, went to the WCW. I don't know that he ever was over. No, I don't think he um, was in WCW. The man has been maybe one of the greatest technical wrestlers of all time. And at this point, he's just disenchanted. He doesn't really like the business, but he's still involved for a lot of other reasons other than the right ones, which would be you want to be there. And, and let me say also that I know a lot of people are probably saying, well, you know, all the things that have happened to Bret Hart. Yes, I understand. Would I not be disenchanted with the business with everything that's happened in, you know, in the past couple of years with Bret Hart? Yes, I probably would. But, however, for him then to come back and say, you know, I just don't understand, oh, I'm going to come back because I'm going to get a paycheck out of it. And, you know, Bret Hart was paid to do it. And then just say, well, now I'm second-guessing what I did. Yeah, I agree with you on that one because I just find it kind of odd that 
I mean, he showed that's his first time showing up for a long time. Oh, and I got another question. What about, what happened to Dustin Reynolds, Gold Dust? Still sitting on the sidelines yeah. looking for a package. They were going to bring in into platinum or some type yes, of... Yes, uh, yeah, that's what I heard. It really would have been like a gold dust type gimmick. And uh, thank God somebody stopped that because we've had too many reruns of old characters. Uh, Dustin Reynolds, uh, really a talented wrestler, but a kind of an odd guy. And I think that really they just haven't found a niche for him. In WCW right now, there's no reason to throw him in. He doesn't bring anything to the table. And until they find the right gimmick, we're not going to see him. I agree. I agree with you. So I'll let you. Hey, can I have a shout out real quick? Yeah, go for it, Ice. Suicide X. His name's Brian. Yeah. And his girlfriend Sheena. Yep. Okay. You got it, man. There you go. Have a good night. All right. Hey, thanks, Ice. You too. Hey, Ice from West Milton. The celebrity hotline lit up again, though, and we're going to have to take this one because this guy last year, the Wrestling Guys Caller of the Year, voted by all the listeners of the Wrestling Guys, and it's the one and the only. Spanish fly, you've got the wrestling guys. Hey, man! Hey, how you guys doing, man? Fly, what's happening, brother? Oh, wait a minute. I'll let you hear. Oh, you know what that is? That was another ice cold ice house. Hey, there you go. So, uh, prices are going up on ice house in the Dayton area. Fly, where have you been? I'm uh, drunk, mainly. Well, what else has been going on? I mean, we haven't heard anything. What's going on with WAD? We're supposed to see a tape. We haven't seen a tape. We, we, what's going on with the organization? Okay, okay, okay. First of all, I want to announce WAD starting a voting campaign, too, called WAD Up Your Vote. Yes, we are trying to get more illegal immigrants to vote. I know they're not allowed to, but damn it, they need a say, too. I've been wanting to vote for a while. Okay, so WAD Up Your Vote. What kind of uh, what kind of uh, platform are, is is uh, what up your vote standing on? I mean, where where are the major issues? Uh, no tax on beer. Uh, lower the legal drinking age to uh, about eight months. Uh, <coughs> hell, I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Well, hey, I kind of like that. We'll, we'll yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll help promote that. You guys got your own website, and you're. Uh, have you got somebody to come in and moderate any type of debates that you're going to have? Dude, we spend too much money on beer. We can't afford that. Man, hey, I know who uh, who hit Austin. Okay, who hit him? Okay, the Rock's car was stolen, right? Ryan. Okay. Okay, that only points to one man. The Repo Man. That is, yeah, that's it. Hey, the Repo Bear, Man's back. Hey, yeah. cars? They're bringing it back in, man. The greatest character in WWF history. Man, I'll tell you I'm what, names are coming everywhere. That's right. I, I think next week we're going to hear the Gobbly Gooker. Oh, God. Hey, Willie? Yes? You don't have quite as a uh, big sense of humor as Sean, man. I could tell him that... Uh, my left foot was on fire or something. He'd laugh his ass. Oh, I know. Well, you know, I, I, I think, I think you know... Sean is just uh, that way. You know, he's he's very ticklish sometimes. Well, anybody that takes little guys to bed with him, they're going to laugh at about anything. He takes little guys? Oh, the toys, okay. Yeah, the toys, oh, man. Starting to scare me, man. No, that, yeah. Maybe he was having a little fun with midgets. No, no. no. Uh, don't, well, don't call him that. A midget? Yeah. Little person? Yeah. Oh, sorry, we have to be politically correct. Hey, right. this is a, we're having political talk here tonight. Yes, and I'm having... Wad up your vote. and bar beverage excuse me to be politically correct oh my god so come on when's the next tape we have you got to let us know what's going on where okay. are where's everybody in what at uh let's see bowling drinking 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 you get the idea okay well good to see that everything's the same yeah well we just taped one what danger zone yes we had to use a normal name because we found the soundtrack the top gun and we just had to use that song, so, uh... <laughs> oh. Anyways, it was, it was pretty good, uh... Well, we might send you a tape of that. Hey, we're ready for it, man. It's it, We've been missing you guys. You're gonna have you're gonna have to start calling more because you're gonna be in tough running this year for Caller of the Year. I doubt that. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, I, think, I was gonna say, I think the Undertaker guy might have you. Yeah. Where the Undertaker's head? 
Hey, you got you got a lot of people, man. You might have suicide there. Uh, John from Dayton. There's a lot of people that could be moving into the oh, top yeah. slot. Really and, Sha and Sean when he can't do the show. That's right. Sean Stedham right now. He was a hit caller tonight. Yeah, they got some original names, man. Hi, I'm Bob from Centerville. <laughs> <laughs> See, there you go. I laughed on that one. All right. Hey, you get a cookie. All right. Thank you very a much. A cookie, huh? Anyways, I know you're wondering how uh, Beyond the Carpet is going. That's right. Yeah, I, I was actually wondering that. I've heard a lot well, of press on it. it's not going. It's we not. What happened? over budget, which is really hard to do with a documentary. But, sure. Uh, it, it was, was it beer expenses? Really, you were on the ball tonight. Thank you very much. Well, you were trying to get a release date on that with Beyond the Mat, weren't you? Uh, I don't know. Hey, anyways, we saw it like a couple of months before it got on video. We got connections, man. <laughs> you know, I, actually, have you ever thought about trying to get a grant, you know, to finance the rest of the film? Because I'm sure a this grant. is... A grant? Uh, well, no, not, no, a grant. You actually have to, you know, fill out forms and stuff, too. None of us can write, man. Oh, okay. How, how are we supposed to do this? Can I, we send the papers to you? Sure, that's fine. I'll fill them out for All you. All right, then. Fly, we got to get to a break, man, but we hope you keep uh, working on your wad up, your vote. Uh, we'll work with you in any way we can. Yes, we're uh, encouraging illegal immigrants. Come to the polls. You won't be able to vote, but hey, it'll be fun anyway. Yeah, you can just kind of help out. Yes. All right, brother, you take it easy. Give us a call, man. Have a good time. Looking forward to seeing you. I'm the fly. I'm the guy, and I will see you. Uh, probably at the drive through buying beer. <laughs> All right. You're listening to the Wrestling Guys on Buckeye Country, WBKI. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Wrestling Guys, brought to you by Dyer Garofalo, Mann and Schultz, the accident attorneys, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Give them a call at 1-800-INJURED. If you need help, they'll be on your side any time, day or night. There's a free initial consultation. Just give them a buzz. Let's get back to the phone lines, Willie. We're having a... Short night, man. It's went quick. It did go quick. I, I think it's because Sean's not here. Uh, I think so. Hey, uh, let's go to line four from Maplewood. Jason, you've got the wrestling guys. Hey, what's up? Jason, what's up? where is Maplewood? Oh, it's up near Sydney. Hey, I like that, man. What's happening up there? Oh, nothing much. Just getting ready to go to work. Well, that's not good. No, it ain't. But it could be worse. You couldn't. You could have no work to go to. Yeah, that's true. So what's your question, well, Jason? I was, just, I was just wondering, what are they at WWF doing with Chris Jericho? I mean, putting them against X-Pac, are they giving up on them or what? I don't think so. I think actually him and X-Pac could have a really good match. Um, I think maybe, you know, Jericho's just in a holding pattern right now, and they're trying to give him something constructive to do, um, letting, of course, you know, Kurt Angle and Triple H. Um, th there's actually talk, you know, that uh, Chris Jericho will be turning heel at some point and actually that's another name to throw in the hat chris jericho as far as you know austin with the car yeah. you could throw everybody's name into you know, the hat it's really. amazing right now but the wwf is so talent laden uh i think you have to look at what's going on there everybody can't get the mega push at the same time right exactly and, and i really think they've done a great job of trying to juggle people put them into the mainstream give them a good push I've always been a proponent of Al Snow's. I don't think Al has gotten the push that he deserves because I think he's been a good company man, and I think he does a lot for the creativity of the WWF and a lot of other things. But I think overall, how can you debate what they've done? They've been so successful. Yeah, that's true. Budge, I guess if Triple H is going to turn fan favorite, I guess Chris Jericho would be best to turn heel. He does such a good one. Yeah, oh, exactly. He can go there in a heartbeat. Yep. Okay, well, thanks. Hey, Jason, thanks for calling in from Maplewood, and hey, have a good night at work, brother. All right, back to the phone lines again. Line three from OCW. Doc, you've got the wrestling guys. Hey, what's up, guys? What's going up, Doc? Uh, not much. Hey, I know who run over Austin, man. It's got to be Nick Foley. You think? Yeah, why not? That'd make a Hill Commissioner. Well, it's possible. It's good. It's a good angle. You know what? It, I don't think there's many bad angles. I don't either. Uh, the only reason I wouldn't say, it would say it's not Foley is his book's about ready to come out on paperback, and I think that would kind of diminish the sales. Well, his children's books are coming out, too. That, too. Yeah, that's a good point. you got to look at the whole package. I mean, I, I like the Billy Gunn work. I think the HBK thing is good. Chunky Bud, too, I don't like, you know, the big show happening. But, you know, it could be anybody. It's Right now, whoever it is is going to get one hell of a push. Absolutely. Uh, I, I just, I got a feeling it's Foley. So you're going out on a limb, Doc. You're going to say that I'm it is Foley, Foley, right? Foley, yeah. 
You know? Okay, we should tabloid. Hey, we'll, we'll do it, man. The job as commissioner. So why not? Why shouldn't it be Foley? That's right, because you know most commissioners need to be heel. Well, you would Marty know. Knows you, that. Yeah, you know how commissioners are. I'm not. Yeah. I'm a good commissioner. Oh, okay. I'm not a heel commissioner. All right. When I get there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Hey, Marty. But the, uh, by the way, Maniac said he wasn't going out partying with us no more. Um, I bet he did say that. <laughs> they can't handle it. Yeah, he had. He probably had a hard time uh, making it back. But you know what? You, you got to do that. Maniac kind of at the twilight of his career. It was an opportunity for him to still get out there with the young guys and and mix it up a little bit. And uh, so you got to do it just to keep that age thing in perspective. Wait a minute, Marty, he's about seven years younger than me. Well, yeah, but we know what happened to you, Doc. Yeah, I'm just. It's the women, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that'll do it to you every time, man. Yeah. All right, brother. Well, thanks for calling in. I uh, look forward to seeing you guys. I know you got a show coming up in Fairborn soon, right? Uh, the 23rd. All right, 23rd, OCW in Fairborn. And uh, if you want to have a good time, uh, stick around after the matches because we'll the OCW be right know what to do. Right back next door. You got it at the recovery room. All right, buddy. All right, brother. You guys have a nice evening. You, you too, too, Doc. Bye. Hey, let's go back to the phone lines. Hey, Jobber, what's this phone? What's up, brother? I don't know. I think our phone's broken or something. Our phone is broken. I think so. So what, we don't have anybody on the line now? Oh, we've got someone on the line now. All right, well, let's see who it is, because we had Dick from Yellow Springs, and well, then we had the Cane Swing and Granny. Dick's back. Dick's back. Yes. Well, then throw Dick from Yellow Springs on. This okay. is a family show. I'm not yes. sure if you're allowed to say that. Robert, welcome to the wrestling, guys. Hey. How's it going, buddy? Hey, I got a quick question for you. All right. Do you guys think that the, the SmackDown The Vote was getting the... Um, uh, guys for the presidential election, do you think getting them on there is, do you think they're serious or do you think they're just looking to boost their ratings? Up? I think they're serious. I, I really do. I mean, you know, I, there was a tendency for me to go, you know, it's the same thing. I think you have to look at the big picture and you have to look at, you know, not WWF, but look at WWFE, the whole entertainment company. Um, you look at, you know, they own the XFL. They are trying to expand and do a lot of things. And, yes, I mean, do I think the WWF is going to get a little bit of a rub off this and maybe some notoriety and probably some ratings? Absolutely. But at the same time, is it not for a good cause, too? I think so, too. So I think you have to take both sides on that. Hey, any time you do something like that, there's got to be an ulterior motive. Part of it has to be for doing it for good. But you're right, man. Let's face it. Uh, they get a big mainstream rub from doing it. They're a public-held stock. Stock prices equate into money, which equates into big business. It's it's for the right reasons, but it's also for them. And ratings definitely equals cash. Hey, you got Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So, and everybody knows Vince McMahon. Hey, you got to love it, though. So... All right, well, hey, can I give a quick shout-out? Yeah, go for it. All right, I just want to say I'm going to give a quick shout-out to my favorite independent wrestler, Sean Ryan. All right. He can't, he can't whip me, but, you know, hopefully he does something out there in the independent. Hey, hopefully we seen he him did. last week. Guy had a nice matchup <laughs> in OCW out there in Yellow Springs, and uh, good shout-out, man. Yeah, all right, thanks. All right, thanks for calling in. A couple seconds left. Let's go to line six. Kane swinging granny. You've got the wrestling guy. She's gone. Go to line seven from Tip City, Rick. Hey, guys, how you doing? Pretty good, good buddy observations from the shows over the last Monday. Um, the flare skit, that was pretty shaky. They need to work on that a little bit. Um, I don't think using Rick as uh, the father ought to be the way they ought to go. Uh, my opinion is to uh, put Russo as uh, the father. Oh, no, you know what? I like that. Yeah, I like that better than I do Rick. I don't well, think it's... Um... Yeah. Because see, Russo's already screwed Rick. Now he's screwing his son. So now David becomes faced with Rick and uh, still keeps Russo as a bad guy. Stacy can basically say, hey, I had to sleep with the boss to keep my push going. So it kind of takes her off the... I like that. I, I, I think Rick needs to send off a resume. Yeah, you ought to send him something. Rick always has some astute evaluations of what's going on. Oh, I enjoy wrestling. Yeah, but um, I think that would be the way to go. That way... It, that would help push David, you know, with Dad in the in the corner. They go after uh, Vince together, and that's what I would do. From what I saw Monday, that would help clean it up a little bit better than than what they did with it. Hey, maybe we'll uh, uh oh, maybe oh. we'll send them an email. Look, man, we got to get going, Rick. We appreciate you calling in. We're down to one minute. It's went quick tonight. 
You want to do it? You want to yeah, do it? Here's what we're going to do. HWA at, at the Gateway Sports Park. We're going to give away two tickets, ringside seats. We're going to clear the lines. Fifth caller, if we're off the air, call in. You can just pick up your tickets right there at Gateway Sports Park. Tell them the wrestling guy sent you. We'll get your name and address. It's been a great night. Gary Davis, Les Thatcher, Willie in the house. Sean Stedham not here. We're the guys that put Survivor off the air. We are the tag team champions of talk radio. The wrestling guys on WBKI Buckeye Country 106.5. Good night, Dayton. Bye. Welcome back, the wrestling guys. Well, one of us anyway. I'm Sean Stidham. Willie F's here. I need to be an honorary wrestling guy. This is two weeks in a row. You you do the hotline. You're here two weeks in a row. By God, you are an honorary wrestling guy. Well, someone needs to redo that promo. (laughs) Joe, make that happen for me. I probably won't be back here for about two months, but make that happen for me. You know, we're sitting here, and we're on the third floor of our building here downtown in the Oregon District, and we just heard this huge clap of thunder above us. I'm just glad we have all this electrical equipment around us. (laughs) I'm feeling very safe. Oh, jeez. Anyway, we are back again. Uh, Willie, thank you for filling in for me last week. And thanks sure. for filling in for Marty tonight. Big mm, chair. Not a, not a problem. Marty is out of town. Uh, he was at the uh, Raw and SmackDown this past week, uh, traveling along with Chad Collier a little bit, but doing some things. He's going to check in a little bit later. A major story is developing involving World Championship Wrestling. And uh, we are working on that, and we're going to talk more about that uh, in the 8 o'clock hour when Marty calls in. Also, uh, Gary David, who he was on last week uh, talking about the SmackDown Your Vote campaign. He's with the World Wrestling Federation. He's also in very heavily involved with the entire move over to Viacom. And we're going to obviously talk about that a lot tonight. A lot of questions about uh, the content of the programming, the times, everything else. He's going to try and clear up a lot of those questions we have tonight a little bit later on around 8 o'clock or so. That sounds great. Don't you think so? I think this is just going to be a jam pack. And... Yeah, go ahead. You have to inter- do an introduction. Oh, we, we need to do that. I don't yes. know. Should she roll her own timpani drum? Or? Yeah, I think she should, actually. Okay, can, can you roll the timpani drum over there? She, she's already answering the phones right now. She's great. We do have a brand new producer starting tonight, and uh, she's not even paying attention right now. She's over there on the phone. She's, she's dedicated to she's her dedicated job. She's dedicated to her job. She's working. Put the phone on hold real quick. Okay. The brand new producer for the wrestling guy starting tonight. Her name is Julie. 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 And you notice, we get a female in here, and who's the first guy in here? Joe. <laughs> well, of course. I'm training her. Well, jo- yeah. Joe's yeah, just are. here to exchange fashion tips. Anyway. But welcome. <laughs> hey, by the way, Willie, that sure don't go with them shoes. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but Julie, welcome to the program. Oh, it's great to have you much. on. It's going to be a good addition. So. Get out of my way. I'm scared. No. <laughs> She's going to fit in perfect. Already this is she? taking like charge. It. Already taking charge. Already giving bumps. That's what we like. <laughs> She'll be doing me, but welcome. And you, you know wrestling? Yes, I You do. like wrestling? Yes, I do. And I was very impressed. What did you and your boyfriend go out and buy? What did we go out and buy? You told me you bought, you bought a DVD player. That's kind of personal. We went, out, <laughs> we went out and bought Beyond the Mat. That's the only reason he went out to get it, was to get Beyond the, the Mat. The unrated version, though? Did you get the unrated version? I, I think so. I really Uh-oh. don't remember. Really, I never saw it out in theaters. We had to get on DVD. Because the unrated version. Yes. See, yeah, I have that on DVD. It's very good. Oh, okay. Anyway, but welcome, and the well, you call you. in tonight, 457-1065, say hi to Julie, welcome her on board. And not a lot of news today, other than what we've already covered on the hotline. Well, so. what a shock, it's because I'm here, that's why there's no news. <laughs> <laughs> that is the news. That's that the news. news. <laughs> Obviously, the big story this week, the World Wrestling Federation won their appeal Monday afternoon, and so they are free and clear to move over to Viacom. That means starting this Monday, the World Wrestling Federation will now be on the national network. Not the Nashville network. No. Because absolutely. TNN is uh, having a little facelift. They are changing their format. They're moving from Nashville to New York. They're going to concentrate on first-run sports programming and first-run syndication movies and things of that sort. And the first step in all this, they are now the national network. That's great. Isn't it, though? That yes. means no more of that puppet thing that was on. Wasn't he, wasn't no he more, on there? You're not going to be interu- interrupted anymore for uh, the puppy shows. You're not going to be interrupted anymore for U.S. Open Tennis. No, but didn't the National Network have that little that show with that puppet on there? Oh, Shotgun Red. Shotgun yes. Red. Yes. I'm going to miss him. <laughs> <laughs> and you're, you know, but, you know, Shotgun Red was okay. Well, we're, we're on a country station. You have to play that up. Oh, that's right. Yeah, go. I love. I'm sorry. I was thinking of um, Revolver Red. 
Well, when now, I was now making you get to watch comments. Raw between uh, uh, episodes of Cagney and Lacey in Dallas. So there you go. Yeah, really? Is, it, is that is that how the, what they're playing? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. But uh, yes, yeah, so a very uh, very good uh, news. Finally, we know what's going to happen with the programming. Sunday Night Heat now becomes WWF Heat because USA actually owns the term Sunday Night Heat. So that'll be on MTV starting a week from this Sunday. And uh, we assume that Superstars and Livewire are going to stay on their same times on TNN. MD, yeah, that's right. It's going to be on MTV. Right in between uh, videos. <laughs> right in between. <laughs> yeah, that's MTV right. Plays we got videos on there. In between, sure. Uh, oh, they canceled Love Line. Did you see that? Did they really? Yeah. It's going to be between the real world and reruns of the real world. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Undressed. There you go. <laughs> anyway, but we're going to talk more about that a little bit later when uh, Gary checks in. Uh, this weekend, Unforgiven, the pay-per-view, obviously the, the focusing around the return of Stone Cold Steve Austin. And who hit Stone Cold with the car? I, I have no idea now. I, you know, I've seen... Well, I'm sure you're going to cover it, so I'm not going to go into it. Who, like, the new suspect is. Do you oh, have, go, like... Who go this ahead. New? Go ahead. Mick Foley yes. is, like, the new suspect. There, there's a rumor. Dave Shear of OneWrestling.com is reporting there is a very strong possibility that Mick Foley will turn heel this weekend, and he will be, have been the one behind the wheel. You've also got speculation about Vince McMahon, Stephanie McMahon, uh... Triple H, uh, Billy Gunn's name is out there. The Rock is in there. Repo Man. <laughs> Steve, we're not Marty. getting a, we're not getting a decent push. Well, you know what? I think maybe with the Olympics going off at the same time, it's a great opportunity to bring in Outback Jack. And that's true. I forgot about him. Wow. <laughs> maybe they'll bring him in, but uh, obviously that is what it's going to be focusing on. You know, there's a lot of guys that are supposed to make their debuts in the World Wrestling Federation, uh, and women too, like Mona, like Raven. So those names are out there too. I don't think I don't think it's going to be anyone that's brand new. I think it's going to have to be someone that's been there for a while. Billy Gunn. Billy Gunn's very possible. Billy Gunn. Julie likes like, that one. I like that one. You like that one. So when you call in tonight with your question, we're going to take a little poll as well. You can let us know who you think it's going to be, and uh, next week we'll. Uh, oh, give well, you well, yeah, we'll take yeah, it'll take us all the way to next week to tabulate those. Exactly. <laughs> well, no, we got to wait till Sunday. Oh, you're we right. All right, I'm sorry. Sunday to find out actually who it is. Oh, I thought you were going to say we're going to tabulate. Like we're going to take all the things together. No. Like we can't no, like no, mark no. little things with a pencil. No, because we well, know we can only get to ride. 21. Yeah, so. that's, that's right. <laughs> hey, that that was thrown out of court, by the way. <laughs> uh, how about let's talk about the NWA since uh, it's been yeah. a long time since so we have about that brand new NWA World Champion crowned last night in Florida, the Colorado Kid. I've heard of him. I, I've heard of him. I've, heard of I've him. never seen him, but no. I've heard of him. He uh, defeated Jerry Flynn, but the big news is Sabu is going to go after the NWA World Title <laughs> next month down in Tampa. But he's not going to get paid. No, of course not. No, he's just that kind of guy. Uh, Nitro for this coming Monday. Here's a little preview of what you will see. Booker T versus Vince Russo in a caged heat match for the WCW World Title. Can I just say something? You okay. know what? I have a really nice setup at home. I have a nice 60-inch TV. And if Vince Russo wins, wins the belt, I swear to God, that TV is going to be gone. <laughs> There's gonna be there's gonna be a size twelve shoe, <laughs> right where like Booker T's face used to be. <laughs> oh, jeez. Also, this coming Monday, a battle royal to determine new WCW tag team champions. A Miss WCW contest. The ruling is the one wearing the least amount of clothing wins. Gee, and they got yes. they, and, and who where did they, they get that idea from? Yeah, and, and uh, who, did you say who the judges were? Uh, no, we, I, we, you can go ahead and... Yeah, Howard Stern, Howard Stern and, and, crackhead and Crackhead Bob. Bob. Yeah. Gee, go, go figure, like, lack of clothing with also, uh, those two. Also, rumored to be on the show, Scott Hall, Diamond Dallas Page, Bret Hart, and Ric Flair. That's all this coming Monday on Nitro. Thunder tonight, little preview. Rey Mysterio Jr. battles Hubie Guerrero. You've got uh, Vince Russo against the Masked Heel. How about that one? The Masked, the masked Heel. heel. Yes. Okay. Harris Brothers versus Three Count. Uh, the Young Dragons take on the Thrillers. Paisley against Tori Wilson. Uh, Miss Hancock has her interview with Mike Tenay. And uh, your main event, Sting, Jeff Jarrett, Scott Steiner, Booker T, and all that. And plus together. about, probably about four commercials for track phone. <laughs> yeah, put that in there, too. You know what, but God bless good Jeff Jarrett needed some money. <laughs> I guess. You know, the pay-per-view revenues weren't in there when he was a no, champion. No, absolutely so. not. Uh, I'm happy for Jeff Jarrett. He's got a nice little gig there. SmackDown, uh, Val Venus battles Scotty Too Hotty. Hardcore title match, Al Snow, Steve Blackman. Jerry the King Lawler, Chris Jericho in a tag team match battling X-Pac and Taz. Also the APA against the RTC. And in your main event, The Rock and Triple H teaming together along with The Undertaker against Kurt Angle, Chris Benoit, and Kane. 
Well, there you go. There you go. And that's. Uh, and I know, I know what happens on all of them, too. You want to go ahead? But I'm not. No, I'm not going to tell I'll anybody. You, I'll put you in charge of option three. <laughs> hey, there you go. You want to do that? Sure, yeah, I'll okay. take back option three. All right, there you go. Uh, ratings are in raw at 5.7. Uh, Nitro did a 2.88. Head to head, 5.5 to 2.3. So there you go. And you got to say ratings were probably down because of the Olympics. Olympics, uh, Monday Night Football, even uh, though the Redskins lost, it was a much touted affair. And you obviously you have two teams with very loyal fan support, so that drew into some of the ratings as well. And plus, you know, Big Brother. <laughs> are you still watching that show? <laughs> you know what? I'm just watching that oh, show really? in hopes that someone kills somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't choose which one. I'd rather die. But one of those people, oh, I swear to God, has to go. Well, I, well, I only have like another week left or something like that. So anyway, that's too long. Jeez. Oh, anyway, uh, and let's talk about this a little bit too. Nicole Bass got into a little bit of trouble over the weekend. Nicole Bass arrested in Little Italy after she bit the hand of police officer James Secreto. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Apparently, her stepdaughter says there were two officers on each arm. One had his foot on her back, and the six was grabbing her hair and macing her eyes. All right. The brawl began about 10.30 Saturday <laughs> night. She was at the festival with her husband, her stepdaughter, and some friends. The group was walking when a Queens man, 21-year-old Alexander Royanine, bumped into their child, triggering a shouting and shoving match. Nicole Wait, Bass man. could face up to two Not, not Nicole Bass's child. Nicole Bass's stepchild. 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 Yeah. I, would just <laughs> <laughs> I think that's about the best. I don't think that do. plumbing can, uh, I don't know. Nicole Bass. I don't know if that, that's you don't capable think the pipes of. Are working? Is I don't think that's capable of, or if it was, I'm really glad that they're not. <laughs> uh, a couple things to mention. Uh, nice crowd this past week out at the Gateway Sports Park to see the HWA. I, I missed it. I was up, I was like in Toledo. Wait, 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 A Squad, Brock Guffman, you don't remember that? No, I wasn't there. I wasn't there. I missed it. I had to, some things I had to do up in Toledo, and uh, I wish I could have seen it because, you know, I wanted to see why, you know, everyone thinks that Brock Guffman and me are similar. You are very similar. Well, you know, maybe there's some copyright infringement that I can <laughs> get Dyer Garofalo, Man and Schultz on go. this. How many times do we have to mention them tonight? A bunch of times. So sure. That's good. We'll, we'll talk okay. extra one in it. Uh, but then also, you sure you've you never seen Brock? No, I, didn't, I know. I never have. Do we have like a psychiatrist number that we can get in here for a uh, plug or something? Anyway, also, uh, what else we got this weekend? A couple shows to talk about. You got OCW and Fairborn. At right. the uh, Old Timers Banquet Center, they're going to have their show out there. Two two nine eighty one eighty nine, the number for the OCW. If you want to find out about that, also uh, is IWA this weekend? IWA VCW. Yes, IWA VCW with yeah. Hacksaw and Jim Duggan. Duggan. <laughs> and I'm wondering, I'm wondering. If, well, I'm just wondering if those guys are, you know, were were knowing that Hacksaw is going to turn <laughs> because now they have like a heel versus heel match. Exactly. <laughs> And fine. Uh, hope they kept the receipt. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's going to be interesting. But you know, you got Suicide Solution and Tom. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, I'm, uh, uh, that's Logan it's great on you guys on that show. So absolutely, don't let that uh, stop you from going out there. Should no, be a good absolutely. show. Either should you go to have a have a good time. Four five seven one zero six five is our phone number. We are the Wrestling Guys on Buckeye Country one zero six point five. Julie, you're in charge. Should we take a call now? I mean, uh, do you want a break or? <laughs> Julie, you're the producer. You need to tell us what to do. <laughs> Ju Julie Can I gets. Take a call? Huh? We can take a call. We can take a call. Yeah. Take a call. Let's go to uh, line one and Daryl. You're on the wrestling guys. Hey, what's up? How you doing? This must be Daryl McGee. Yes, Daryl Slick D McGee. Slick D McGee. Slick D McGee. Don't forget the Slick D. Well, you know what, um, man? There really nothing to talk about tonight, but um. That's great. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm sure you. glad you're called up a talk <laughs> show. Willie F. What's the Willie F. website address, man? I don't have a website. Oh man. Yeah, I, I wish I did, but I don't have one. Well, uh, actually, actually, for your pro question, and now you may think I'm stupid, but I would like for it to be Hulk Hogan who hit Austin. Hulk Hogan coming back. That would be a good way to bring old body back into the spotlight. Well, the problem you have is Hulk Hogan is still under contract with WCW. You realize that. Yeah, that's true. You realize it's still a work. But, I mean, who do you think? I mean, I heard Shawn Michaels is a strong possibility. That's true. Shawn Michaels is a very strong possibility. Um, but it wouldn't make any sense to bring him back since he can't wrestle anymore. The thing, the thing I believe is that whoever is going to come back and be the one that was driving the car, um, I think Austin was going to end up winning that feud. I think Austin, you know, will win who, against that. And I don't see why you would bring back an Austin or a Billy Gunn in that situation just to have him job out. Right, I agree. So... Do you think there's any possibility it could be The Rock? 
Yes. Uh, yeah. Originally, when it was, uh, you know, this happened before it was known that Steve was going to have to be out for a year with the neck surgery. The original idea was to have The Rock be the one in the car. The Rock would take out Steve Austin so he could take over the number one spot in the company, which he's done with spades. But uh, I, I don't think it's going to be The Rock now. You I see, I, I still think there's a possibility with that. And, and I hope so. I hope here's so. why. Here's why. The Rock has the, the Mummy 2 coming out, and he's mm -hmm. playing a villain in that. He's mm -hmm. playing the Scorpion King in that. So they want to start building that up as far as making The Rock look like a villain. But do you think the WWF cares about that? I mean, yeah, I, I don't think, think Vince McMahon's an executive producer on this one. No, that's true. Do you think it could be somebody coming back to the WWF like S.P. Jones or something like that? Or you know, <laughs> Only if he's selling concessions, <laughs> brother. Iron Mike Sharp or something. No, I, yeah, uh, like Willie said. And, uh, do actually, you know, I did hear one story, though, on a related story about Hulk Hogan. Actually, um, in WCW, I heard they might book this uh, when uh, Hogan comes back. Someone's going to hit uh, Hogan with a wrestling maneuver book. <laughs> <laughs> and no one's going to know who it is. Daryl, we got to get to a break. Thanks for the phone call. Appreciate okay. it. 457-1065, if you want to hop on board the wrestling guys tonight, Willie F. along with Sean Stidham. Julie's behind the board, and we'll be back. Hi. <laughs> back here on the wrestling guys, Buckeye Country 106.5. I'm Sean Stidham, Willie F. filling in for Marty Adams. Brought to you by Dyer Garofalo Man and Schultz. Put a tiger on your side. 24 hours a day, you can give them a call at 1-800-INJURED, or you can visit one of their many locations, downtown Dayton, Middletown, Huber Heights, Springfield, Lima, Piqua. Where else are they? They're everywhere. Everywhere. I just wish they did something as far as, like, companies charging something in your credit card, but I won't go into that. <laughs> anyway, give them a call. You, you could call them about that. I can actually? Well, can I? Sure, go ahead. All right, I will. Go ahead. Anyway, Willie is filling in for Marty Adams, and oh my goodness, look at that. Celebrity hotline is ringing. Let's go ahead and get him on. Marty Adams. Marty, how are you? Marty? Uh, well, I'm finally glad to know that you have acknowledged my celebrity status. Well, only because you had the number to get in. I mean, it wasn't, oh, you know. No, we thought this was the club. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, what's going on? You were in, uh, what, Chicago Monday? You were at the SmackDown thing yesterday? I'll tell you what, guys. It's been um, a long trip, but well worth it. A lot going on in the WWF and in the WCW. I'm just coming into town, um, as everybody knows, in the Dayton area, in Oxford, uh, Dayton, Middletown, Westchester. Terrible storms coming through there. I'm going to be definitely giving you a call back, but we have a lot of news to report. This is going to be probably the only people in the country that are going to be breaking this, and I have news on who the driver was. Do you now? Really? Now, yes, uh, Al Snow started a rumor in the uh, locker room Monday night at Raw. Now, we are taking a poll right now with people to call in. They can give us uh, their idea who they who they think it is. Do you want to give it to us now, or do you want to wait uh, an, an hour or so? All I can tell you is it's one of the wrestling guys. Uh-oh. Yes, that's what, that was the first <laughs> thing I heard Monday night at Raw. <laughs> well, it's you. Well, I don't know that. I, 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 I've ridden with you. I've seen you drive. It could be you. Well, yeah, I do drive crazy, but there's just a vicious rumor being passed around the locker room at the WWF. Uh-oh. Well, we'll talk more about that a little bit. Uh, be careful on the road. Hey, okay, Willie, take care of him, will you? You know how he is when I'm not there. I'm going to try. I have the pacifier standing by. And, uh, Sean, fast-breaking news on the WCW front. Uh, you can talk a little bit about it. I'm trying to get a little more information as we speak. All right, we will do. And did you say hi to Julie? I mean, that's pretty rude. She's our new producer, and you didn't even well, say hi. Of course I said I gave Julie her due respect when I initially called in, and then I gave her my pet name for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, which name was that? You don't want to know. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll get it out of you later. Marty, be careful. We'll talk to you in a little bit. All right. Talk to everybody right, later. Take care. Uh, so we're going to talk a little bit more about that. Again, WCW, yeah. major rumors, uh, something happening maybe seven to ten days. Could be big. But that's all That's all we can say right now. Exactly. I mean, there's been a lot of rumors about there's, things that yeah. can happen with WCW. That, that is correct. So we'll just uh, play it that way a little bit. You, you may know what Drag it, it out. We're going to drag it out. Well, you know what? Everybody else drags out a storyline. Why can't we? <laughs> <laughs> or they drag out giving you a return on your credit card. Ex and ex <laughs> yes. So we'll just say... Did you... You know, I, I apologize for not knowing this. Right. Did you rant last week? No, actually, we, I did not. We I did about that before the I show. I didn't mention anything about it. But all I can say is that there's this appliance-like store out there that has the initials C C. 
And that's all I can say about I can, you know, because I don't know if they sponsor like any other show on the station or anything else. So I don't want to. Do. I don't want to say anything. But avoid them at all costs. And this is what I want you to do. If you can figure out what I mean when I say this huge appliance store, <laughs> we're talking electronics, computers, everything, everything that has CC. Do me a favor. Just call them up and say, "Give Willie F his money back." <laughs> More to come next hour. Yes. <laughs> Four five seven one zero six five. Let's go to line two. It is the Bink. You're welcome to the wrestling guys. Hey, what's up? How are what's you? What's up, Bink? I'm very good. Yeah, good. It's all, it's all good when it's with the Bink. Okay. Yeah. So basically, I think it is Marty. You think Marty hit I, Steve Austin with the car? I bet. I bet he did. Okay. Yeah. So, so we will put uh, Marty on. And the, now, uh, now, what do you have team. to actually back that up, Bink? Well, he kind of disrespected me last week because he thought I was like told so ungrateful at the Wait court leader been meeting. Right. There's something in my head. I don't, I don't know, know if it's the thunder or. I mean, whoa, Julie! Julie, what happened? What happened over there? Accident. Well, I thought you know. Okay, you're allowed to make those. With the new producer. It's my first day. It's, it's your right. first day. Things happen. She's learning where the buttons are. Exactly. So, Julie, that's okay. You know. I'm sorry. You know, it's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll talk, talk about, about that. You'll be reprimanded later. Anyway, let's go to line three. It's Hellraiser. You're on the wrestling guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering if Goldberg really did retire. Huh? When when did that happen? When on uh, Nitro when Vince Russo had a thing. No, that was just Vince Russo just reading a letter. Yeah, that that's all that was. No, 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 no. Yeah. Goldberg is not retired. And what's up with Minion when he's streaking? That was Willie's idea. He, uh, I know he called Vince McMahon and a few of the That's guys right. in WWF and said, I think, you know, Midian naked equals ratings. I, I said that. I mean, after, you know, Richard on Survivor, I just said, you know, the next step would be Midian. Yeah, you know, the, the more fat naked men on the show, the better, because obviously it worked for Survivor. Uh, Joe, we're not applying Joe that is radio. raising his hands. No. And, and what's happening with uh, the tag team titles for the WCW? Uh, this Monday, they are going to have a battle royal on Nitro to determine new tag team champions. Oh. Sound good? Yeah. Hey, you need to give us your vote. Who hit Steve Austin with the car? I'm thinking it's Mick Foley. Mick Foley. There yeah. Vote. There we go. You know, that's, that's a three-way tie. It's a three-way dance right now. Marty Hogan and Mick Foley. See, you tabulate yeah. him as you go, Willie. <laughs> Hellraiser, thanks a lot for the call. Appreciate it. Good night. All right, night to you. Uh, line four, Mumbly P. You're on the Wrestling Guys on Buckeye Country 106.5. Hey, yeah, what's up, guys? What's uh, up? Hey, yeah, I got a question for you. Okay. Hey? The whole thing with this whole uh, rock deal and everything, and who thinks is going to be the one that ran over Austin. Do um, you think it could be the big show? No, I don't think so. Mm -mm. And the Stuff reason I... No, because big show needs to lose some weight. I know, and, and it's, it's bad as he's been, you know. It's like they waste all that money on him. Like, they need somehow to bring him back. Um, I don't think so. And the reason, I think, you know, he's been severely reprimanded by being sent down to Ohio Valley Wrestling. <laughs> and I don't think that, and I'm not saying that's a, that's a great promotion, trust me. But at the same time, I, I think that that puts a bad stigma on the locker room if you say, okay, well, we're reprimanding this guy. We're sending him down there. We want him to lose some weight. And then we're going to bring him back and put him in a major angle? I don't think so. And the yeah, other thing, too, is you got to remember, the World Wrestling Federation is a multi-billion dollar company. So, you know, a million dollars to the big show, it's not hurting him right now where they say, oh, we have to, you know, get our money's worth out of this guy. And mm -hmm. I, I think what, what Willie said, in the long run, it's better for the locker room if you come down hard on, on uh, Paul White and tell him to get his act together. Um, because if you don't, you could have the same kind of chaos we've had in WCW the last few years. Hey, did you say you had a little problem with a company called CC? Yeah, it's called CC. Well, there's this company called DB, Best Buy. Check them out. We're non commissioned and they'll help you out. <laughs> All right, <laughs> there, there you go. go. There's, there's, there you go. All right, because I know what you're feeling with that CC company. I've been All there, right, done that. see? Thanks, Mumbly <laughs> No problem. Appreciate you guys it. Have, you know, have a nice night, all right? You too. Bye-bye. Bye. So, I like Best Buy. I, yeah, I like company. Best Buy, too. You know, I, I, I bought a lot of my appliances there. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, all I can say is, you know, when you go in there and you think that you're going to get the, and this is at the CC at place, the CC. when you go in there and you think you're going to get that little $400 off, make sure <laughs> that you're actually going to buy something, because then if you walk out the door, they charge you $400 back, even if you don't buy anything. You know what? If you, I think I've told this. If you had just got the extended warranty, this all would have been. I know. <laughs> 
I'm still, I'm having nightmares on that and people hounding me. Well, why not? Uh, let's go back to the phones and go to line five. It's Suicide X. Welcome to the wrestling guys. Hey, guys. Hey. I was just listening last week and I now found out. You were just listening to last week? No, I mean, like last week because I didn't get, I had to take some of it because I wasn't there. No, I thought you were like in a time portal and you are just no. getting the show. <laughs> no. Know, so. I found out my new idol. Your new it's, idol? It's the Spanish fly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're setting high standards yes. for yourself. Yes, you, you make me totally agree on everything. You used to want to be a drunk. Uh, you just <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you agree on drinking <laughs> men and drunken luchadors. Yeah. Oh, uh, on the person who I thought that uh, hit Austin. Yes. It would have to probably be. I would have to say Triple H. Triple H. Triple H. You know, nobody has had, you know, agreed with anyone else. We've all got, we got different votes. We've had five mm -hmm. callers and five separate votes. Yeah. And, uh... Julie says it's not Triple H. <laughs> you know, Julie, <laughs> real, real, real little hint here, it's radio, there's a thing called a microphone. <laughs> yes. And you can talk into that. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, no, it's not, it's not going to be Triple H. It's not, okay, Julie, who's it going to be? I, honestly, I was... I'm going to say it's Billy Gunn. I just know it's not going to be Triple H. Okay, so okay. Ju Julie says character. Billy Gunn. Okay. Okay. And um, I, I just wondered, like, did Julie, like, get into, like, IBC on coupons or, <laughs> or what? It's a two for one. This <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, this one, I'm just wondering. <laughs> five, five. We're oh, shooting down all the major companies in the area tonight. Wait a minute, because I went to ICB. I like that. Oh, that's right. Thank you very much. much. So I know you did. I didn't. Okay. Props to Uncle Timmy. Uncle Timmy rules. <laughs> I'm going to go eat a, a moon pie right now just for him. Uh, anyways, uh, Suicide X, I assume you want blown up? No, not yet. I need to ask another question. Oh, okay, right. go ahead. Um, what's with Kevin Ash right now? Because last week, that was the funniest thing I've seen him done, where he said, you guys suck and bite me. That was I, hilarious. I don't know. I'm getting a little tired of the blackboard. Yeah, I thought it was, uh, it just didn't work for me. It made me laugh. But then again, I mean, you know, Suicide X, you know, his idol, Spanish Fly. That's yeah. true. But, you know, maybe, you know, he was trying to be like the idol and have, you know, a few beers and, uh, you know, that's possible. And after that, anything's funny. Yeah, before you guys blow me up, I'd just like to say that who's ever taken over the phone lines tonight, so I just called in. She's like, hello, and I'm like, I've already called in. You can put me on hold. Oh, you know what? That's you know, Julie. That's, it's Julie. You know what? Julie, go ahead. Take care of him. Yeah, there you go. Everybody. There you go. Get rid of him right there. So there you are. Right. You know what? It's Julie's first night. Turn off the ticker. You don't want to blow it up right. anyone. You know, we're grading Julie on a curve tonight. So, anyway. Oh. You know what? I could say so many things about on a curve right now, and I'm not going to go there. Too many jokes. I think... <laughs> <laughs> With that, I think we need to go to a commercial break. Right. If you want to call in, 457-1065, you're listening to Willie F. John Stidham, Julie, Joe, we're all here. It's the Wrestling Guys on Buckeye Country 106.5 FM. Back here on the Wrestling Guys, Buckeye Country 106.5. Willie F. filling in for Marty Adams. I'm Sean Stidham. Brand new producer, Julie, on the other side of the board, doing a very good job. You like this so far? Oh, yeah. Okay, uh -huh. good. Are the callers treating you okay? I know Suicide Axe was a little... Uh, not really, because no one's welcomed me or anything. And my really? feelings are kind of hurt. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think they like me. Oh, oh no. See, that's I'm going to cry. No, no you're in no. no. Willie likes you. I like you. Yeah, no. we, we, we like, like you. you. Okay. 457-1065. want to remind you again, we are brought to you by Di Garofalo, Mann and Schultz. And Willie, I think you're going to call them about that CC company. CC company. Exactly. And I put a tiger on my team. And if you're, you know, if you're downtown, you, you see them on the buses all the time. You know who they are. They got brand new offices they're going to have in downtown Dayton. You need to check them out. We need help. Give them a call. Di Garofalo, Mint, and Schultz. Let's go back to the phones. And line six, it's Steve. Steve, welcome to the wrestling guys. Hello, Hello Steve. Steve. Uh, this is this here's Biohazard. Oh, all right. Well, it's okay, Biohazard. Biohazard. Hey, what's going on? Not a lot. How are you? Great, great. You want to talk about the show coming up this Saturday? We should say, for those of you that do not know who Biohazard is, he's one half of the Suicide Solution. That's right. And part of VCW, and he's got the big show with the IWA this weekend in Springfield. Unfortunately, we're one of the lucky ones that Hacksaw's still doing shows with. Good. So, uh, we got Hacksaw going to wrestle Hardcore Tommy Chill. We're wrestling the Poe Boys for the IWA Tag Titles and a Fan Bring the Weapons match. Um, we got the Riot Squad wrestling uh, Trevor Lowe and two partners. 
going to be totally off the hook. If you've never been to a Springfield show, you, you really need to get out there to get one. And you're going to be out at the Freedom Road Center uh, this Saturday. You know, last time you guys had a show a couple weeks back in Piqua, you had the uh, flaming baseball bats and everything, right? Yes. I didn't, unfortunately, I didn't get to rest my partner because Mother Nature uh, had me go uh, take, get my pennies taken out. Oh. So my partner wrestled one of the po boys, Cyrus. It was it was an awesome match. It was awesome. But probably the best match tonight was a uh, pouring a crown on a big gym and a ladder table match. Well, always, every time you guys are up in Pickwell, we hear nothing but rave reviews. And, of course, Marty's the commissioner, and so he's involved heavily with you guys. And I'm sure this Saturday you're going to pack the house with, uh... Hey, how do you feel about Hacksaw, you know, becoming Canadian? Well, he does what he's got to do, and the people turn his back on him, so... And that, that's the way he feels. He didn't want people, people went standing behind him, so you got to get to go do what he's got to do. There you go. As long as uh, somebody's sitting every 18 inches, you don't mind, right? Right, right. <laughs> that's all matters to me. I mean, I'm worried... We're looking really to pack the house. The pre-sale is really good. We're running radio ads. I mean, it's, it's really good. I mean, the iron sheet we had almost... We're like 450 oh, wait, wait, You're running radio ads. You know, we host a radio show. Yeah, have you, you, you know, run ads. You might have heard house. of it. A lot yeah. of wrestling guys, you know. Yeah. I'm a little yeah. hurt there, Biohazard. Oh, well... The other half, he's taking care of that. So, <laughs> oh, okay. So, you know. Now, so now wait a minute. I, I, I want to see if I understand this. This is a fans bring your own weapons match that you're going to have. That's right. So they that means, it. I mean, they can bring basically anything. Right. And there's a possibility that you may use it. Probably uh, well, the we more, will use it. There's no possibility. About really? The, probably, so probably the more outlandish, the better. Right. So right. Let, me, let me ask you this. My father-in-law has this old beat-up pickup truck sitting in his barn. If I bring that to the show, you'll use it. Definitely. <laughs> Great. Hey, they got a nice little balcony there, too. Uh, oh, jeez. So, uh, uh, you and Marty should try to make I'm, it out. I'm thinking. I, I, have a, I have an old lawnmower. I have uh, some old cartons. Does the lawnmower run? Sure. Great. You can fix it. Well, there you go. See? There you go. Julie, do you have anything laying around you'd like to bring? And Joey, you have to talk. You can't shake your head. No. It's, again, the microphone. It's a, it'll be your friend. Anyway, Biohazard, real quick. Uh, we got to get some other calls. Who do you think hit Steve Austin with the car? Uh, Matt asked Billy Gunn. You're going oh, with Billy Gunn. Gun. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought it was. Oh, yeah. Why not? He's getting ready to come back. They could put him in some kind of storyline. Exactly. Oh, very possible. Very possible. Hey, hey don't forget. Deborah's coming back, too. She, she might be with Badass. That could yeah, happen. You know, maybe Deborah hit Steve with the car. You never know. That's right. You never know. Well, I would say, you know, er when you get married, those kind of things happen. Hey, yeah. Good luck with the show this Saturday, okay? Yep. Take care. Bye-bye. Yep, bye. Hey, we should mention that. I don't think you got to touch on it last week, uh, last Wednesday. Actually, uh, while you're doing the show There's a lot here. of things I didn't touch last week. Oh, yes, thankfully. Anyway, yeah. we well, had Marty in the studio. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I don't blame you. Uh, but last Wednesday in Las Vegas, Steve Austin and Deborah, we've talked for a long time how yeah. they are an item. They uh, officially tied the knot. That's right. And um, I'm hoping that Steve didn't re-aggravate his neck injury. <laughs> Jim Ross was at the wedding, a few others, and uh, said it was very nice. It was out in Vegas. and uh, they Where all good weddings, weddings happen. Exactly, exactly. But uh, did a very nice job out there. And so congratulations to the happy couple. I'm sure they'll do fine. And, you know, with Austin coming back, Deborah will be back too. So That's right. The World Wrestling Federation is going to have a very radical change. Um, because, number one, I think they've been sitting on a lot of things, waiting for mm -hmm. one, Steve to come back, two, for the move over to Viacom. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got Billy Gunn, you've got Raven, you've got Deborah, you've got Mona, um, Austin, obviously. So a lot of, uh, there's going to be a lot of new faces in the World Wrestling Federation. It'll be interesting to see how they all blend in. I think the World Wrestling Federation, though, does an outstanding job with blending all the talent that they have. I mean, every single person in that federation generally has a storyline going at some time that's interesting um, all the way up top. And, you know, WCW really needs to look at uh, how WWF does things like that. And it's a, it's a consistent storyline. And they're very consistent. It's not week to week where it's like, oh, what are they doing this week? You have a... You could, you know, two weeks miss the show and come back in, and you still have a pretty good idea what's going on. That's right. Nitro, you can turn off 20 minutes, and uh, you don't know what's going on after that. Absolutely. And that's not, I'm not trying to bash. You know, I know people are going to say we're bashing again. I'm not trying to bash. I mean, this is I, I, I get so adamant about this because I really do like WCW. Right. I mean, we have, you know, we've done a lot of things with Kevin Nash, Diamond Dallas Page. A lot of the friends we have are in WCW, and... You know, we get the frustrations. Uh, we hear it from them, too. So. Absolutely. Um, but, again, something big is going to happen within the next week or so, and that's big. what we're hearing. Big. So if you think of all the different rumors, and we're going to get more into it with Marty in about a half hour, but uh, we'll talk more about that. But 
some big things are going to happen in WCW very, very soon. Back to the phone line. Let's go to line seven. It's Kid Chuck. Chuck, you're on the wrestling guys. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, Kid Chuck? I just wanted to say real quick, since you just had Biohazard on the line, I was at the last DCW show and saw that main event, and Real Deal took a hit in the back with a fluorescent light bulb that just exploded, and it was unbelievable. Ouch. Okay. Julie, have you ever taken a hit from a fluorescent? For, I can't even see that. Fluorescent. Thank you. A light bulb, yes, thank you. No, not yet. Okay. Okay, what's up with ECW going to USA? Good question. Good question. Um, um, go ahead. Uh, I've, I've heard uh, 11 o'clock on Saturdays. That's the big rumor. I think that that's probably not a good time slot for him. I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm just throwing that out there just uh, due to the fact that um, I think it's going to have the same uh, thing as the 8 o'clock on Friday. It's got pluses and minuses. Too I many people are going to be out. Saturday at 11 is better than Friday at 8. I and, will agree and with and that. The big reason is you have your Friday night football with high school around the country. Sure. And I think 8 o'clock on Friday night is a much more popular time for people to go out rather than Saturday at 11. Also, ECW, from what we understand, will go to two hours. So it'll be very interesting to see what they can do over a two-hour period. The one thing I'm wondering, though, is that we heard that there's a handshake deal between Heyman and USA. Right. After this whole appeal process, you wonder if USA is just going to say, you know what, we're just going to go in a new direction. We're going to get away from wrestling and and start something else and, and, and go fresh. Right. We're going to put Shotgun Red <laughs> on for two hours. He's out of a job now, so he may need a job. But you just wonder what's gonna, where, that, where that leaves Paul Heyman. Um, Paul Heyman is a very smart individual, mm -hmm. and I think Paul Heyman will always come out on top. I mean, every single time that we've said, you know what, this is it, ECW is going down, that's it, that's all, you know, you know, the fat lady is starting to sing, Paul Heyman finds some way to bring that promotion back and bring it back stronger, and I think that he will do that again. And the one thing we've said before, and you won't find a lot of people to confirm this, but trust us, it's true. There is a deal in some sort between Paul and between Vince McMahon that, hey, if Paul, if you need help, I'm here. I don't know if that means Vince would give them, you know, a time slot. I don't know if that means Vince would buy it or give them a loan or exactly what. But ECW is not going to fold. You no. might not see them on TV for a few weeks, but they're going to stick around and they're going to survive. I agree with that. And they're going to move to uh, monthly pay per view starting in December. That's yes. going to help them too. That's going to definitely. I help love them. that name too. What's that? Uh, the pay per view they're going to have the in December. massacre on Thirty Fourth Street. You know, for so long we've had the Starcades and the WrestleManias, and you know every month what it's going to be. This is sounds like a very unique, you know, classic ECW style pay per view. I agree, and uh, you know, I, maybe this is going to be you know pay per views will start changing name because I don't think they'll have that same pay per view. You know, what, we have a caller, we're, Kid Chuck. You can jump in here. Oh, know. yeah. That's all I'm right. sorry, Kid Chuck, are you still there? <laughs> That's all right. I oh, hi. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. Um, for the, for the uh, question, I think I'll have to go with the, uh, the human lack of suplex machine, Taz. I mean, really? You think Taz hit Steve Austin? See, I don't... That's what I want to see. What do I don't? I don't honestly. If you want what I really think, that's not what I think. But that's what I want to see. Just because okay. I want to see Taz get pushed up higher. Okay, who do you I think it will it actually be? Huh? Who do you think it will actually be? Uh, <laughs> knowing the way the WF runs things, probably the worst choice, and it'll probably be Vince McMahon. Yeah, you're probably yeah. right. Yeah. I hope not. I, that would be, that would be as disappointing as when Vince was the higher power. Yeah, uh, greater okay. power, whatever he was. No, I don't know if you can get that disappointing. <laughs> I called Circuit City. That was pretty City disappointing for you, Willie. I'm sorry. I called Circuit City for you. Did you? <laughs> Wait a minute, you can't say it. It's CC. Oh, Actually, okay. I can't say it. All right. <laughs> See, it's CC. And what did they tell you? Huh? What did they say? They thought you didn't know who you were. I said Willie F. Sorry. <laughs> well, that's what, no, you should say. You can say Willie F. Say it on the wrestling guys. Tell them, in fact, this is what I want you to do. Now that it's out there, no, this is what I want to happen. I want this to happen. I want people to drive in there right now to CC, and you go over to every single radio tuner that's there, and you turn it on 106.5, and then you call and say, I've turned it on 106.5, and then you call up and let me know. Call right, up I'll and let that. me know. Anyone who does that, because then I will, I will tell CC exactly what I think about them. You're going to do that, right, Chuck? I'll do that. All right. You know, I, I'm thinking of the circuit, uh, the well, CC, I, I CC. Sorry, around the area. And I know that, uh, you know, we have some There's listeners I know right that live in that area. Dayton Mall. That's right. There you go. And that's the one. That's the one, too. All right. Okay, then. Chuck, you're on a mission. All right. All right. Later, guys. See you later. Thanks, Kid Chuck. Okay, Julie, do we break? Do we go to a call? We get one more call. We get one more call. See, that's how she needs to be assertive. <laughs> you don't have to tell me that. Lay the hammer she down. She looks pretty assertive. 
Hey, look, look at the fingernail polish. I see that. She's got to be assertive. <laughs> look at that. She's got like this black fingernail polish thing going on. These hurt, so be careful, okay? Uh-oh. Okay. Line eight, ice. Welcome to the wrestling, guys. Hi. Hi. Suicide wants me to ask you guys. He thinks it's Brooke Lazard that hit Austin. Because he read it on the internet. Brock oh, Lazard. Brock Lazard. Oh. And I don't think it's going to be Brock Lazard just because I don't think anybody really knows who he is. I agree. But, uh, you know, we'll put that down sure. for you. Yeah, Thanks. I don't know who he is either. He just wanted me to ask you guys. All right. Well, appreciate the phone call, okay? Oh, I'm not done yet. i got a couple more questions. Okay. Oh, he's telling us. When. Okay, well, we'll let us slide this time. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Okay, um, about the Triple H and Kurt Angle match. Yeah. Is Stephanie going to leave with Kurt Angle at Unforgiven? Probably. Because if you see what they're building up to, and you're going to see more of this on SmackDown, they're really starting to play up Eddie Guerrero and together again in real life, and I think they're just going to put that in front of the cameras. Yeah, I hope they do. Um, can I get a shout-out real quick? Can you get a shout-out? Can I say a shout-out real quick? Okay, go ahead real quick. Um, suicide, and he wants China for his birthday to marry him. <laughs> you might have to talk to Hunter about that, yeah. but uh, we'll... T you know, Playboy's coming out in a couple of weeks. He can have that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Take That's care. That's the Bye. next best thing. <laughs> Closest he's going to get. Get, you know, it just, you know, get China and some Kleenex, and it's almost like you're married. <laughs> too Four much five. information. Too much information? Well, not for me. I was saying, you know, for, for, for you know, for this guy. We should break on that. 457-1065 okay. is our phone number if you want to give us a call. You're listening to The Wrestling Guys on Buckeye Country, 106.5. Back here on The Wrestling Guys, I'm Sean Stidham, Willie up next to me, their brand new producer, cutting off the music very fast, Julie behind the board. It was fine. She's doing great. Yeah, she is. Stop. She's doing good. She let me in. She did. She, <laughs> Where's her yeah, black fingernail polish? She let, me in. She let right. you in. So, Julie, you're doing Green. fine. It's actually dark. It's oh, just, I'm sorry. I just wanted, no, it's okay. I'm teasing. For those of you playing the Wrestling Guys <laughs> home game, that would be Green. And we are brought to you by Dag Garofalo, Man and Schultz. Put a tiger on your side. 1-800-INJURED, their phone number. If you need to give them a call, they give you a free initial consultation. They will help you out, as they will Willie. They will. And the battle versus CC. CC. Give Willie his $400 back. That's right. See? It's 400 That's right. It's $400. $400. Uh, and this has been going on for how many months? Uh, this started on Valentine's Day. <laughs> A day of love, a day, a day, of, a romance day of love, has turned into a day of despair and gloom for one boy and four. That's right. Yeah, sort of, sort of like my my marriage <laughs> went. <laughs> but that's okay. Let's get back to the phone lines in line nine. It's the ref from Riverside. Ref, welcome back to the wrestling guys. What are you guys doing? Hold on, um, doing a talk show. Yeah, just doing a little radio show here. Well, we we got time. How you doing, Willie? Good. How are you doing, ref? I'm uh, just fine. Uh, the guy that hit the Austin with the car, I think it's the Rock. You think it's The Rock? Yeah, because The Rock can't stay face too long. Well, you know what? You, I, I, I thought that, too, and then you started thinking about how over he is in the mainstream, and I, I don't know if they would mess with that. But I don't either. Not, but, you know, T-shirt sales uh, help out a lot, and he's got a lot of T-shirts out there right now. And movie career and everything mm -hmm. else going on. I, I don't know if they would go that direction. A year ago, yes. Now, I'm not so sure. Well, anything's possible in pro wrestling, Willie. Really. Yeah, <laughs> Anything can true. happen in the World Wrestling Federation. That's right. Now, you guys, this coming Saturday night at the Park Hill Shopping Center at the Old Timers Banquet Hall, we're going to have one heck of a show. And uh, Dave Diamond, or the Brawler, is going to lose their job Saturday uh, That's night. like really? what, a career versus career match, right? Yes, sir, it sure is. And I think Dave's out the door. I was gonna. I was gonna say, does the baller need any help on that one? Because they'd be more than happy to come down there. And you want to get rid of Dave? Well, no, not it. No. Oh, okay. No, well, no. Dave is wanting the easy way out. He's wanting the brawler to hand over Frederick's title to him. Dave don't want to earn it. He wants it given to him. Oh, I see. Okay. Look how Dave is, Willie. Really? Yeah, I know. He's, I he's, know. He's a, he's a basket case. Well, that's that's true. Well, he needs some place to put all the hair. That's right. Now, we're going to have some other good matches. We're going to have the former lightweight champion, the Panther, going up against the former champion, the Waikiki Kid. We're going to have a three-way dance with the tow truck from the Wrecking Crew along with Dr. Love, Stevie Hayes, and probably myself at ringside. And uh, he's going up against uh, Motor City Madman, Jamie Thunders. And uh, we're just going to have one heck of a show Saturday night. Everybody come out and support the OCW Saturday night. How can you be at ringside? Aren't you the ref? I'm a ref. And I'm in the wrecking crew, so that means I'm oh. allowed. Oh, okay, allowed. I didn't know that. 
Yeah, I'm alive. I, I didn't get that memo. Hey, oh, Rep, when's your bell time? <laughs> 7 o'clock. All right, have a good time. And again, the OCW phone number, 229-8189. You can get all the details there. That's, That's right. right. All right, okay, Rep, thanks. thanks a lot for the phone call. Uh, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. You know, speaking of OCW, uh, let's go to another call from them. Their commissioner is on the line, uh, Andrew James. Welcome to the wrestling guys. How are you doing tonight? Doing just fine. I want to congratulate Julie. You want to congratulate See, Julie? Look, Julie? Julie, people are saying hi to They're you. They're saying congratulations. I tell you what, thank I think... you, hello. That's the commissioner. Hello. I think hi. Julie... Get up out of his chair and get here, Julie. See, you think... Uh, Leave the chair. Why is that? I just well, she sounds better than. Willie. It's not an electric chair. I don't. No, think, no. I think yeah. you're safe. No. Uh, well, hey, Willie, stay yes. home this weekend. Julie, I'm inviting you personally to our show this weekend. Listen to this, Julie. You got a personal invitation to go to the show there this weekend. What What have I done to What have I done to OCW? Well, you what have I done to I'll Andrew you James? To I, I, I tell think Andrew James stay, just stay has the hots for Julie. Oh, all right. That's I think that's what it is. It's the black fingernail polish. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We, yeah, we just paint a picture here. <laughs> well, I just want to invite you to our show, and congratulations for joining the wrestling guys. Oh, thank you very much. That's very nice for you to call in. Are, are you going to have to change, you know, are you going to have to change the name of the show now? I'm changing the name of the show. Or do you think it's going to become the wrestling guys a girl in a pizza place, or what? I like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a pizza place if Joe's here. <laughs> No, if Joe's here, there is no pizza. That's either. right. Uh, uh, Andrew, real quick, who do you think hit Steve with the car? It don't matter. No, no. I think it was, um... Uh... Um, do you have some good Julie. Jeopardy music you can put in here? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was Joy. Do you think there you go. I don't there you go. That's a nice. Andrew, that's a nice Andrew push. Putting the move on Julie. Tonight. Nice little welcome for Julie. I nice little so. push. Yeah. All right, Willie, you can come to the show too. Man. All right, thanks. I appreciate that. And, and Willie will wear. Guys. Willie will put on black fingernail polish just for the occasion. Yeah. So. No. It's, so. Yeah. Dark green. Yeah. Dark green. Not dark black. Green, not dark, dark green. green. Andrew, thanks a lot for the phone call. Thank you. There. Bye bye. You know, uh, Julie. Andrew, I think was uh, smitten by you. I guess. I'm going to turn red, so I should probably not talk. Oh well, yeah, it's a radio. Okay. It's okay. You know, nobody's gonna see that. If you guys are, and then you're gonna make fun of me. I would never make fun never, of you. Never, not oh, at oh, all. Oh yeah, of course. Not at not all. Not at all. Four. Not being, not with wrestling. We <laughs> would never do that. Four five seven one zero six five. Let's go back to line eleven and double S is on the wrestling guys. How's it going, man? Good. Good. How are you? Oh, uh, hanging in there. Hey, is uh, Eric? Uh, not Eric, but uh, Vince Russo going face. I don't know if he's trying to do that or exactly what his motive is, but uh, he's, something is going on. I with. hope it's just his way to get off of television. You don't like him? No. 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 Hey, I, I like him. I no. Like I, I'm sorry, but the, the guy, you know, I have a big problem with the guy who is basically pulling the strings in the backstage. The guy who is making the storylines happen and everything being in the forefront and particularly a guy who is not even a wrestler okay i have a big problem with that having that that, that guy you know putting himself over on tv and the other thing too about and i agree with willie on this is that vince russo is trying to be vince mcmahon and vince mcmahon had been in the wrestling business years and years and years before he put himself in front of the camera and he had to be convinced I think, is your radio on? Yeah. You need, on. you need to turn it down, okay? All right. All right. But he had to be convinced, number one, to do that storyline with Steve Austin. It mm -hmm. wasn't something where Vince McMahon said, hey, let's do this. Um, you know, other people suggested it, and then, the, you know, he, finally he went along with it. And, of course, it was probably the most successful thing that WWF has ever done. But uh, I, I think that Vince Russo, you know, we've said it before, he was tired of hearing Vince McMahon's name in the World Wrestling right. Federation. He thought that he did all the work. And so he thought he would go to WCW, and everybody would bow on hands and knees, and they did for the first three months. And then, guess what? He doesn't have an original idea. No. Okay. I mean, let, let's face it. Mike Awesome, Mike Awesome, right now, is a straight ripoff of the ladies' man on Saturday Night Live. I agree. Kiwi was a gimmick from Saturday Night Live. Mm -hmm. You take a look at what he did uh, with the Miss WCW 2000. That's the exact thing, same thing when... Uh, Deborah won the WWF Women's title from uh, Sable. Exactly. You know, she took off the most clothes, and Shawn Michaels gave her the belt. All these things we've seen before, and it, people are just, uh, people see that. Yeah. Do you think he's like, like, might be there to wreck the company? No. No. I, I, that's, no. No. That, you know, that's a conspiracy theory, and I don't buy into that one. Hey, we got to get to another call. Thanks a lot for yours. Oh, who, but real quick, who had Steve Austin? Mick Foley. Mick Foley. Mick Foley. All right. Yeah. Two All votes right, now for Mick Foley. Thanks a lot for the phone call. Uh, you know, we got to get to a break soon because we're going to do an interview. But, Julie, this is a very unique caller. He was the 1999 Wrestling Guys Caller of the Year.
He is none other than the Spanish fly. Fly, are you there? The fly has just been swatted. The fly has what just been that? swatted. Julie, what was that? I, that was him. It was the right. That one. was not the Spanish fly. I know. That's who he said he was. Oh, hold on. oh like, it's, he said he was. it's a uh, pseudo fly. It's a well, pseudo guess, fly. I guess that really wasn't him, and he lied to me. Okay, don't lie to Julie. Please don't lie to Julie. Yeah. Four five seven one zero six five. Don't lie to Julie. Julie will take you out. <laughs> I'm not talking like, you know, at the dinner. Yeah. I'm talking, you know, she'll take that green, deep green, dark green fingernail polish. <laughs> She's already made threats to us off the air. I'm scared. I am very, yeah. I'm afraid. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> let's get to a break. 457-1065. When we get back, we're going to talk to Gary Davis of the World Wrestling Federation. Find out what's going on with this move to Viacom, smack down your vote, and a whole bunch more. You're listening to The Wrestling Guys on Buckeye Country 106.5. Okay. Five. on the wrestling guys buckeye country 106.5 fm i'm sean stidham i wasn't here last week willie was and now marty's not here but willie's still here i am the constant <laughs> denominator <laughs> that is my new that's my new gimmick that's going to be the new gimmick you I are am the, the denominator. constant denominator we well, you know last week one of the guests we had on was gary davis from the world wrestling federation one of the big wigs who uh, runs the SmackDown Your Vote campaign, the SmackDown Challenge, and also is the guy with all of the answers about the World Wrestling Federation moving over to Viacom. And certainly there's a lot of questions about that, and he joins us again here on Buckeye Country 106.5. Gary, how are you? Julie? Hello? Hi, Gary. How you doing? I'm fine, guys. How are you? Doing Good. just fine. We, we have a new producer this week, Julie, and so we're, you know, kind of grading her on a curve tonight. So, <laughs> How are you doing? I'm uh, fine. Busy week for you. Uh, yes, it's been a very busy week, but they're all busy weeks these days. So tell us, the move was announced uh, Monday. The Delaware Court of Appeals came in. They said you guys can go over to Viacom. Was it, was it, what was it like in the office waiting for that verdict? Well, it had dragged on uh, for such a period of time that, uh, quite frankly, we had stopped being uh, on pins and needles waiting. We were mindful that uh, we needed a decision, and we knew that the clock was ticking in terms of uh, uh, making a switch to TNN on September 25th. But um, uh, uh, we, we kind of lost track of, okay, well, when will it be? Because we had so many false starts on when they might, when the court might make an announcement. But uh, it was great news. Uh, we were very excited. Um, and, uh, you know, now the hard work begins in trying to make a transition in one week, which we, a transition we had hoped to make over several weeks. Now, one thing I'm sure that concerns you a little bit is that TNN is not shown in as many homes as the USA Network. And I've seen today where some college campuses are a little bit concerned. Uh, one in particular was, uh, I think it was New York University or something like that, where they do not get TNN. Um, has TNN made any commitments to you that they will get into more cable outlets? Well, part of the plan is that uh, with TNN getting WWF programming, that that will be an impetus for TNN to uh, go to some cable outlets that weren't interested before and uh, be able to strike some agreements. And they've already done that in some cases. Time Warner, they did something uh, uh, here in the Northeast, and uh, I'm sure they're actively out uh, uh, trying to connect to more cable outlets. Uh, the, the whole plan for TNN is that WWF will become a platform from them to get into the same league as USA, TBS, and some of those larger uh, uh, super stations and cable outlets. So now uh, a lot of people are wondering, what will we see next Monday? Should we, ex ex should we expect a radical change, or will it be the same old Raw we've come to know and love? You're going to know that it's the same Raw you're gonna, you've come to know and love. Uh, and really, except for a Sunday night heat, uh, when the transfer occurs, uh, everything's going to be the same. So the same high-quality production, same great storylines. Uh, now over time, because the w you never know what will happen with the WWF, uh, you know, you may see some changes, but right now the plan is just to make a, as seamless a transition as we can, uh, so that uh, the fans uh, uh, see that uh, you know it's the same great programming they've come to know and love, and that they'll uh, continue to stick with us uh, when we switch over to TNN on Monday. Now, will uh, as far as uh, Live Wire and uh, Superstars, are they, are, is that going to be on at the same time? Do uh, we know yet? Raw, Live Wire, Superstars. Heat will all be on at the same time. Um, the only difference will be, be with Heat moving to MTV, there are going to be some changes that will uh, 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 evolve Heat to be uh, uh, more consistent with the type of programming that people have come to expect from MTV. Like you'll have like the real world, world cast members like in a in a cage match, things like well, that? Well, you know, that's in the works. <laughs> really? That's in the works. We only had a week, you know, give us a break. <laughs> 
But, uh, you, again, you never know. We're full of surprises. But, for instance, uh, Heat's uh, going to emanate live from uh, WWF New York, Times Square. Uh, and um, uh, we'll have uh, superstar, uh, WWF superstars, MTV personalities. There'll be guest appearances. Uh, there'll be musical performances. Uh, and you know that if uh, there's a musical performance, we're going to be attracting some of the hottest acts around. So all of this may not manifest itself when Heat makes the switch on October 1st. Uh, but you uh, could very well start seeing some changes October 1st, and the show will then continue to evolve. Again, part of the problem is simply uh, uh, these things take time to plan, and we essentially have one week to fully execute the transition. We've been working on these things, but you can only go so far uh, when you're in legal limbo. Absolutely. Now, October 1st, that heat is going to be live. Now, after that, will all of the heats be live on Sundays? Uh, That's the game plan, so... uh, Yes, until further notice. Okay. And uh, let's get back to, I know what right now is really uh, dear to your heart, is the SmackDown Your Vote campaign. How, what, give us the numbers on that. Uh, we're doing great. Uh, we uh, announced more than 80,000 on Monday. Uh, tomorrow we'll be announcing that we're uh, over 90,000 new registered voters, so we're on a great track to break 100,000 uh, by October 2nd. Uh, and that would mark, October 2nd marks the uh, two-month anniversary of the uh, program. Uh, we've had great... It's been a great partnership uh, with MTV, Use or Lose, Youth Vote 2000, and Project Vote Smart. Uh, so a lot of good things are happening, and we're uh, hoping to step up, uh, step up the pace a bit, turn up the heat, so to speak, on uh, Al Gore and George Bush uh, to try and persuade them to uh, come on SmackDown. Uh, at this point, uh, we haven't heard anything other than they are interested, uh, but that's as far as it's gone. So we know it's up to us and our fans uh, to uh, show... Uh, show them that we're enthusiastic we want to see them on smackdown the youth of america wants them to uh, come on smackdown and talk directly to them so that uh, they'll feel engaged enough to uh vote in this election and, and if not see then you just get a couple midgets and you dress them up like one like al gore <laughs> hey, one like see about these top secret projects of ours <laughs> yeah i'll yeah, see uh, you see we can't break that kind I'm of stuff willie we're supposed to you, you know tape some in. things i'm sorry Jeez. Anyway, so uh, when will the have you found out from them when they plan to make the announcement on their debate schedule? Well, the debate schedule is already uh, done. Um, October third, they're in Boston. Okay. Uh, there is another debate, I believe, in uh, Winston Salem on October eleventh, and then uh, they have another debate October seventeenth in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, there'll be different formats for each debate. Uh, one will be formal. One will be a uh, town meeting format. And one will be a talk show format. So uh, uh, they've got some, uh, uh, they've, they've built in a little flexibility so that uh, you'll see something new uh, each night within the debates. One of the things we're pushing on with Youth Vote is to try and get uh, some type of uh, youth component into at least one of the debates, and uh, we're working hard on that. Uh, and at the same time, we still think uh, the SmackDown Challenge, uh, you know, getting both candidates on SmackDown with Jesse Ventura is something that would truly connect with a lot of fans who, uh, even if we get a youth component into one of the formal debates, uh, there's still a number of uh, younger voters, uh, WWF fans, who still wouldn't uh, uh, plug into that. Um, I think the, the, the uh, candidates really need to come to SmackDown, come to those voters. And I think if they do, they'll be very uh, 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 pleased with the response because I think a lot of these people will get up uh, off the couch and get into the voting booth on November 7th if they feel the candidates care enough to reach out to them. And if I remember correctly, SmackDown won the time t- the time period when it was against the, both the Republican and Democratic National Conventions, correct? Yeah, it's uh, kind of humorous. Um, uh, more people in America got their con- exposure to the conventions through SmackDown than, <laughs> than from the coverage of the convention. <laughs> now, what happens, that kind of interesting. what happens if, say, for example, George W. Bush says he will do it and Al Gore does not? Would you still allow George W. Bush to come on and talk George to... George W. Bush will come on and, and have an opportunity to speak to uh, directly to the youth of America and WWF fans. All right. And, uh, again, the website, people want to find out information? www.vote.com. And, actually, we've, we've just added a new partner to the SmackDown Your Vote campaign the National Association of Secretaries of State. Uh, So every state has an office of uh, Secretary of State. One of their responsibilities is uh, voter registration. And so we've connected to that association as well, and we're very pleased to have that group, which is uh, one of the oldest groups of its kind in the United States, uh, feel that uh, our campaign uh, uh, warranted uh, 
their attention and their interest in uh, partnering with us. So we're very happy to welcome them to the fold this week. Oh, you've been doing a great job with it. I know absolutely, you know, if, 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 you, if you want to make a difference, you can't do it unless you go out and vote. So uh, you're doing a great job getting out there to the youth of America. Gary, thank you very much for your time. I know you had a busy day and you're at home, and so I appreciate the time taking with us here on The Wrestling Guys. All right, so I can sit down on my cheeseburger now? Take <laughs> your, sit down your cheeseburger, take care of your girls, and I'll talk to you later. Great. Thanks, guys. Thanks, thank Gary. Bye-bye. Gary Davis from the World Wrestling Federation. and. Uh, doing a great job. I mean, let's think about this. 80,000 new voters, and now that figure rises daily. Uh, what other organization out there right now can be promoting those type of numbers? And Absolutely none. And every week, 10,000 more voters are being added to this. And, you know, the World Wrestling Federation has such influence with uh, young people. You know, when they see China registering the vote and they see right. The Rock and they see all this other, you know, it helps get them off the couch and get them involved. And, you know, once you get involved, that's how change happens. And so uh, certainly, you know, there's a lot of people that have very strong opinions about things in this country. Well, go do something about it. Exactly. See, I did something by coming here tonight. There you go. You very can vote against CC. You can choose Best Buy. That's true. You can choose others. I choose Best Buy. Julie's, Julie's making us break. Okay. We're breaking now, Julie, right? Julie, you are in charge. You just say, okay, we have to break now because Julie, Julie we're, so. we are afraid of you. <laughs> and so you have control over us. Yes, there I'm you go. I'm not a bad person. I, no, you're not. That doesn't mean you're a bad person. What is your job title? Producer. What does that mean? I can boss you guys around. There, there you go. go. Hey. Yes. I can call you Mistress Julie. <laughs> oh, oh. There, there's the name for See, it. I'm, I'm just sensing a harassment <laughs> thing. I'm just glad I'm not really part of this show. I'm uh, glad I'm you, just are a now. Fan. you are now. Uh, you are now. He's not a wrestling guy. No, he is I'm not like a wrestling half. guy. <laughs> You're half wrestling guy. There okay. you go. Let's go ahead. Well, Julie, play music. Let's go to a break. Thank you. She says she wants to go to a break. She doesn't play any music. You're listening to the wrestling guys. The tag team champions of radio. Talk radio. That's right. Here on Buckeye Country 106.5 FM. A very enthusiastic Perry Saturn. And Willie F. And Willie F. Well, that, I'm not Perry Saturn. I'm Sean Sidman. Okay. You're and Willie F. F. And a very enthusiastic Julie, the new producer of the wrestling guy, is doing a great oh, job tonight. Thank you. And, and as, as you call in tonight to 457-1065, say hi to Julie. Welcome her to the That's show. Right. And uh, speaking of Perry Saturn, he uh, wrestled a guy that we know very well, Chad Collier. Chad Collier. That's right, from the HWA. And, in fact, HWA down in Western Hills this Saturday. And also down in Western Hills at the uh, Western Hills Sports Complex. Like I, I think it's a new building, but I'm not sure. Okay. Anyway, uh, between, I think it's 1 o'clock and, I want to say 1 o'clock and, like, Four, Four o'clock. Yeah. If you're age like 12 to 16, you can go down there and you can like, well, you have to sign up first. You have to call like the HWA at 513-771-1650. And uh, you, can, you can actually call up and they're registering people. I, I don't know what the fee is and I apologize. They would have more information for you down there. But if you're age 12 to 16. You got to get the right parental consent too. That, that is right. You can actually go down and learn some of the moves. And things of that nature, and see how actually, you know, wrestling evolves. And you can actually get into the ring, bounce off the ropes, you know, have a fun time, and also some ring safety will be instructed as well. But great opportunity if you uh, want to do and that. And you also get tickets to the show. Yeah, that that's night. True too. That's true, too. And also more information is available if you go to their website, hwaonline.com. But Chad Collier, uh, another example of the HWA doing a great job getting their guys Got their great shots. reviews, too. I guess... Uh, uh, Perry uh, gave him a great match. Yep. Um, a very generous Perry Saturn, I must right. say, too. Um, and lots of good reviews coming out for Chad Collier. Chad Collier, of course, been overseas in Japan. Um, the guy is a great talent, and you need to see him, really, before someone, you know, picks him in. He's in a four-way dance uh, this weekend, uh, this Saturday, with Shark Boy. The hustler Tim Moxley, who's from big following here in Dayton, he was from Dayton, Ohio. Yep. Rapid Delivery, Rory Fox, MTV star. <laughs> now that he's going by, <laughs> Rory Fox, and then Chad Collier, all for the Cruiserweight belt. And again, more information is available by visiting their website, hwaonline.com. And I don't want to forget Di Garofalo, Man and Schultz, because Willie is going to them after, they, after we're done here. Because 24 hours a day, you can call them. You I'm going to call them. I didn't know that. One eight hundred injured. And you know and you I can't. Your you, pride's been injured. You can't call twenty four hours a day to the other place. <laughs> <laughs> but your 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 pocketbook has been injured. My you pocketbook injury. I have suffered four hundred dollars injury. Yes. And we're we're, we're going to fight you. We're going to not you. Thank but we're going to fight for you. Thank you. And Julie is going to be there with us. Thank you, Julie. Because Julie could kick some ass. You. 
I, I appreciate that commitment from Julie. 457-1065, a little bit later, Marty Adams is going to call in. We're going to talk a little bit about a big, big story. story. Big story. Big story. in WCW. And uh, we'll talk more about that. But for now, let's go back to the phone lines. And line one, it's Joe on the Wrestling Guys. Hi, guys. How you doing? Hey, Joe. Um, I was just wondering, uh, do you guys know if there's anybody coming into WC or, I mean, into ECW that was there before? Like Sabu might be coming back? Or no, be I there. doubt that. Not Sabu. No. He's uh, he's on, uh, what's a good term for that? Um, he's on extended leave. Yes, very extended leave. Okay. Um, and I was just uh, going to say who I think hit Austin. Yeah. It's somebody that nobody's thought about yet. Uh, Marty said earlier that it was one of the wrestling guys. Yeah. yeah. Well, Shane Douglas is officially a wrestling guy. Mm. Yes, Marty he is. said that there was a big announcement in WCW, and they've been firing a lot of guys lately. Mm. Oh. So I think it might be him. You're yeah. putting two and two together and getting a five, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. That one. That's good. All right, we got your vote in, Joe. Thanks a lot for the phone call. Appreciate right. it. Let's go back to uh, the phones in line two. It is Sneaky Pete. What's Pete. up, guys? How you doing, Sneaky Pete? Pretty good. A uh, couple quick questions. One, uh, where do you see Taz going? Hopefully over Lawler this Sunday. That's um, a bad I time. Mean, they put him in these matches with Lawler and with Al Snow and... Basically, what's his deal? I mean, you know, champion in ECW. And yeah, but it, in yeah, but at the same time, he is getting a lot of good, the higher ups really like what Taz is doing right now. And he, go ahead, Ron, and this go ahead. is the way to do it. I mean, you have to really become like a company guy, which Taz has become. And once they see that. The door is going to be open for a lot of opportunities for Taz. And you got to remember that Taz was starting to get a push when he suffered the injury, so he got set back by a couple of months. And think about when the Dudley Boys first came into the World Wrestling Federation. Bubba was doing the stuttering gimmick. They were doing jobs every single week. People were an uproar saying they should go back to ECW and look where they are now. Taz is going to be just fine. I think the Jerry Lawler storyline was great heading up to SummerSlam. I think they've dragged it on a little bit too long. Um, and I think if Taz goes in this Sunday and squashes Lawler like he should, then Taz will be right back on track and uh, hopefully on his way to an intercontinental title run or something like that. It, and what, the other thing you have to realize is the WWF has never, never been keen on guys of Taz's size. Right. But Taz is overcoming that, too, and showing them what he can do. And actually, I think he's a, he's a tremendous, uh, tremendous uh, presence. I mean, I loved his ring announcing. I loved his commentating. And actually, what we're hearing is that, you know, he's getting high marks from uh, the higher-ups backstage. So I think Taz is, on his w is well on his way. And I, I would say soon that you will see him get a major push. Uh, second question, Hardy Boys, Edge and Christian, who do you think is going to pull it off on Sunday? Edge and Christian has had that for a while. Hardy yeah. Boys, Hardy, Hardy, Boys. Hardy Boys. You're a Hardy Boys fan. Yes, I'm a big Hardy Boys fan. I thought they would pull it off. See, <laughs> see, this is an aspect of the show I really wasn't That's looking right. that forward to, but <laughs> because you never, you, you, you never. Well, sometimes you hear Marty say, "You know what? I really hope they win because they take their shirts off." Oh, but I, you've never heard it out of Sean's mouth, so this no? is this is no? this is a new. A, a it didn't new come game. out of my mouth this time. That was Julie. That's no, right. Edge and Christian have had the belts too long. I think it's the Hardy Boys. Hardy Boys. Okay. okay. I thought they pulled off since they were in Raleigh. They had the hometown advantage. Next thing you know, Edge and Christian get it, and it's just. Doesn't make me want to watch another pay per view. Well, the WWF wanted you to think that they were going exactly. to win in their hometown. That's the, that's why they gave it to the opposing. Uh, what an observation! Wow! Wow! Very good. She's just not nail polish, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, real quick, uh, Pete, who do you think hit Steve? I want to say badass, but just to throw everybody off, I'll say it's Jesse the Body Ventura. <laughs> <laughs> I think he did it. All there you political. go. I like that. Again, what was the line, Willie? Two plus two equals five. That's, two plus two uh, equals five. One. Okay, Pete, we got your vote down. Pete's Thanks going for Thanks, six. Guys. All right. <laughs> All right. Appreciate the phone call. All right. Four five seven one zero six five. The phone number and uh, a lot of. Should we get to? Let's let's talk. A, WWF's losing money. Did you see this? Or at least one of them. We talked about. No. Before, yeah. About, I heard uh, um, Jax. Jax has lost money. Jax is losing uh, is losing money yeah. because of because you're not buying as many dolls as not you're supposed me. to. I, come on, I get mine free anyway. Oh, that's, that's right. <laughs> WCW, uh, we talked about how they pretty much run the one company up in Heber Heights out of business, the uh, t-shirt maker. Company. Yeah, that's right. And uh, according to Bloomberg, Jax Pacific is going to lose 8.5 million 
Uh, they're going to fall, I should say, 8.5 million short of expected earnings for the July to September quarter. They blame that on an abundance of WCW clearance merchandise competing with their full price items and a lack of new characters. So Jax is. They do didn't you th say they're losing money. They're just not going to make as much as they thought yeah, they would. Do you th yeah. Do you think that they're you know just blaming wrestling? I mean, I mean, what other dolls do they come out with? I mean, Jax do you have like does, Xena and like all that Jax stuff does too? Something else because um, they sent out a. I got a, like a big press kit from them one time, okay. and there's other things they make, and I can't remember what it is. I th I'm thinking it's a girls-related toy or something, but WWF is not their only product they make. It's certainly their backbone, sure, but it's not their uh, only thing they do. They would, you know what, they would make that up if they had Wrestling Guys dolls. <laughs> you know, Wrestling Guys dolls would be huge. Get the Wrestling Gu Guys studio playset. Yeah, right. the Willie F doll. You have the Julie doll now. Yeah, that's right. You know what you can do with the Julie doll is if you have you like Malibu Julie. Well, you, what you do with the fingernail <laughs> polish? You know how they used to have the one GI Joe figure. If you put it in water or something, it would turn green. Yeah, with the fingernail the polish. fingernail polish. You can go green. black, red, sure. you know, blue, dark green, right? Dark green. Dark yeah, green that's yes. What it is now. Marty could have like Kung Fu grip. Well, you had the different Marty's uh, Marty dolls with the different boxer shorts, Scooby Doo shorts, the uh, <laughs> Felix the Cat shorts. You have all those. That's right. It'd be great. I like it. Huge marketing deal. We need, to, we need to get that. want to remind you, this Sunday, Unforgiven, live on pay-per-view. Pulse Stations will have it for you. Normandy Square Shopping Center, State Route 725 in Centerville. That is the place to go. If you're over the age of 18, between 18 and 21, you pay 10 bucks. If you're over 21, you pay 5 There's free food. There's uh, some kind of male decadence thing afterwards. Yeah, that's all they tell. They say male de it's male decadence. I Julie, you should go. I don't think my boyfriend would like that. Okay. Okay. So anyway, Sorry. your boyfriend would like it, maybe not if you yeah. did it, but you know. <laughs> but. but anyway, Paul Stations will have Unforgiven. For details, you can give them a call. Well, you're asking me the number, and you I don't know. Hotline. Two I, I never get two twelve. Haven't you noticed? I never give out the number. You do give out the phone number, don't you? Only after I listen to you. Well, they're listening report. now. Yes, we give out the phone. <laughs> no, no. What, what I'm saying is, like, I have to listen to you. I mean, I don't, I don't have it registered. Like, you know, I mean, you have a larger cranium <laughs> than I do, or at least the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank so. you. Thank okay. you. Oh boy. Uh Again, just get done talking to you.